Hey everybody, welcome. It's uh, Mike and Leslie from Jack and Cat Curio. Hello. And uh, today we thought we'd talk you through how best to do the front panel of your Emerald City Chipboard album by Leaky Shed Studio. Okay. If you look on the uh, the slideshow right there, you're going to see the completed uh, front panel. It looks pretty great, pretty stunning. Um, and there's the top version up there, complete and done. Down below is the raw form. What we want you to be thinking about when you pull all these pieces out is just start thinking about the spacing between the hinges and the OZ on that front panel right there. Okay. So before you even get any glue, just kind of play with it and make sure when you apply those hinges that they're not up on that curve. Okay. And some of you might have received the single brad hinge, and some of you might have got the double brad hinge. Okay, both are from the G45 Metal Staples collection, and they're pretty sweet. Okay, they both look perfect. Yes, and if you can look on there on the slideshow, we're going to talk about the O and the Z next. What you should have received in your kit is some green pigment ink, and also a little container of some Zing green embossing powder. Okay, and what you're going to do is press the O and the Z into the green pigment ink, get a nice coat on there, sprinkle on the embossing powder, heat it up and then you're going to have some beautiful O and Z letters, okay? If you look right here, um, next you're going to be working on the doors. You have a piece of green glitter paper. You're basically going to trace uh, your shapes out of the glitter paper, then go ahead and glue them down and sand them. Next, uh, you have to do the other sides as well, and what we chose to use was the 8x8 Goblin Gazette sheet from the Magic of Oz collection by G45, okay? because um, you can get more imagery on the side doors that way. Now these next two pieces right here, this is panel A and B, okay, and these are meant to be adhered and glued together once you've covered them with paper, okay. Um, so what you have to do first is get your Oz letters done, your doors with the glitter paper done, and then you have to cover these with paper, okay, and um, if you look right there, there they are, <laughs> okay, and just match up the holes when you're ready to glue. But that first part, that A panel right there, what we decided to cover with was the Emerald City sheet, a 12 by 12 sheet from G45's Magic of Oz collection. And what you're going to do is just trace it out. Slap it on that 12 by 12 sheet, trace it, cut it, and then go ahead and glue it and burnish it down. As you can see there, in the archway right there, we decided to incorporate the uh, three main characters right there. Scarecrow, Lion, Tin Man. No room for Dorothy. So sad. Okay. <laughs> and, um, I mean, if you can try and squeeze them all in there by doing some fussy cutting, then you'll be all good. If you can't, well, try your best. And you're going to notice the Magic of Oz banner, we cut that out and we lowered it down right above the Scarecrow's head to make room and fit it in there. These next two pieces right here, this is going to require you to, um, once you glue it together, you're going to have that little lip right there that hangs off on the left side. You see that from the front side of that piece. And there we are. We've covered it with the munchkin paper. Um, you're going to have to stretch your sheet of munchkin paper out to uh, do that little left corner and also the back side of the B panel. Okay? It looks pretty good. There's the completed form up above. Down below is once again the naked form. But it just kind of shows you what to do there a little bit. Maybe that'll help guide you. Okay. Um, when it comes to adhesive, people have a lot of questions about what adhesive to use. We recommend using PVA glue, but then again, if you are a fan of glue runners, go ahead and uh, adhere your paper using that. And um, that's about it for right now. We'll be back in a little bit with a second video, and thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.